Hi, my name is Elliot Maltby. I'm a Principal Systems Designer. I work with Luke Presley on the Mission Feature Team. I'm here today to talk about one of the new mission types we're prototyping. So this is an early look, a new mission type, and uh, usually we don't give you a look this early. It's because we don't have uh, the nice shiny visuals. But people keep asking to see the design brief, so we thought, what the heck, we'll let you see. So a mission is built out of objective types um, and the mission type really is just the most critical or um, challenging objective in that mission. Currently, we have a number of mission types in the game. Some of these are not built in that modular sense. Some of these are very much uh, bespokely built to test out a feature at one time. The original PI Wanted is one of those. Uh, the current mission types that do exist is we have deliveries, which are essentially a form of collect and drop off. We have uh, eliminate missions, which is just kill someone, and eliminate ship missions, which is go there and kill a, you know, destroy a ship that has a person inside of it. And there's many more. The way we see missions is they're comprised of little bits of gameplay. So, for example, we have missions where you're sent to kill a singular person or pick up a box or kill a bunch of enemies. So the way how we build our missions is we combine these together. So we'll have missions where you have to pick up a box, but we'll have enemies there that you have to kill as they're kind of like an obstacle uh, for, for you to get around. That isn't to say that you can't build a mission out of a single objective. Um, the assassination mission, for instance, has one objective, assassinate a target. But even the most um, like simplistic mission, like the delivery mission, is actually built out of two objectives. There's the collection of the item and the delivery of the item. And if we made the collection of that item like even more difficult, we'd refer to it as a collect mission rather, to, rather than a deliver mission. So our objective types, uh, for the time being, have been pretty simple. You know, kill this person, go here, do this. Uh, until now, we're now looking at doing one of the most complex type of objective and gameplay things we've tackled in MFT. With that said, we're working on a new mission type and that's investigation. Currently in the game, uh, the player can feel like a, a bounty hunter, a mercenary, a person who does deliveries, you know, a cargo hauler. Uh, we want to make them feel like a detective as a new route, you know. The, we're expanding constantly, we're building mining, salvage, and detective is going to be our focus in MFT. The experience we want to give players with the investigation mission is that they feel like a detective, that they feel like they're um, collecting evidence that will ultimately answer the question that has been posed to them, and that they're able to kind of search through the evidence and find the red herrings um, and and like choose the, the right answer. So what we want is we want to build a mission that um, requires you to have to think, requires you to have to look around, search your environment in detail, look at each individual clue and make sure you fully understand it before you make your decision as the detective. And there'll also be uh, red herrings thrown in there. So evidence will really have to be like poured through, poured over, to be able to determine whether it's actually credible or not. We also wanted to um, create narratives around our locations that we haven't done before, like really dig into, like why has this derelict become a derelict? Or why have all the ship's crew come to be dead? Or why has this cargo gone missing? At the core of this mission, we're really asking the player to use their brain rather than their gun or their ship. So for this mission type, I don't want to breadcrumb players along. I want you to feel like a detective. I will give you a story. I will give you little bits of clues and you have to make up this full sort of painting and decide exactly what has happened here. And then the rest of the decision is on yours. I might not tell you if it's wrong or right. You might find out. The idea is that you feel like a detective and you're so sure of your decision that you're going with that. So the next stage in this whole process is building a pitch. You know, we have to come up with our ideas, how we want it to work, and then we have to present it to uh, CR, Tony and Todd, and make sure they're all happy with it and all of our visions are aligned. So when we're building the pitch, we start off by going, 
over the ideal experience we want for the player. We start off with the, the most advanced things, all the gameplay mechanics we could dream of to bring this sort of role to life as a detective. Uh, and then we have to start looking at stripping it back to see when we can release it, what's the minimum viable product for this uh, experience. And in the case of the investigation mission, we came up with two. So the first pitch is extremely simple and it um, revolves around being able to find a definite answer, like something that is undisputable. Um, for instance, we came up with a mission where um, there is a repairman that's gone missing and you can go to his office and you can find some correspondence that will lead you to another place which will have their, his um, like work itinerary on there. And it, they're all crossed off until one. And if you're smart, you'll go to that location. And should you go to that location and do a little searching, you'll find his body there and he's been like electrocuted, fixing the, the final thing on his list. And there's your definitive ending. Whereas the second pitch, um, it's more about allowing the player to choose when they're done, like when they think they have solved the, um, the mystery. And um, the way we do this is um, we scatter evidence around the, the location and clues that lead you to that evidence. Um, and obviously there can be um, red herrings in there. Um, you can get your like, answer up to a credible state, which might still be the wrong answer, if you, if you, but you can, you can um, complete the mission then. Whereas if you'd have carried on digging a little more, maybe found a few more clues and followed them, you would perhaps find an indisputable um, piece of evidence, like, you know, I did it kind of thing, um, that would get you like the bonus for the mission. And both pitches had their strengths and weaknesses. Um, the, the simple pitch, um, we could see like, how easy it was to scale um, and it involved less um, less complex narrative work. But we ultimately decided to go for the second because uh, we liked the idea of giving the player the agency to um, decide when they were done. So we're in the prototype phase with the investigation mission, um, which is more important than ever because it's such a complex mission and we need to ensure that it's scalable and that other designers can make their own mysteries with it. With the pitches, we can now prototype and sort of get that gameplay feel and see which one we, we want to explore more uh, for the player's experience. The, some of the hardest points of this are going to be the scalability of it. An investigation at its core is a story, so the story should always be at the forefront and the focus. So the first stage of prototyping was to prove that we could make it uh, like a mystery happen in the most restricted location we have, which was like a derelict. So this kind of inter, in, interplay between the crew of it. From there, we're going to expand so that it takes into account more locations and uses all of the um, like ev evidence retrieval interactions that we currently have, for instance, like you can kill a guy and get information off him. You can find a corpse, get information off it. You can loot a box, get information off it. Um, and then we'll be prototyping the newer ways of getting information like off of things. We're looking into um, using the med gun to find the name and cause of death of people. And we're looking into being able to like find the mobile lesson in inventory and download data from it. One of the hardest things that we have to figure out is the story. The investigation will live and die by its story. So we work very closely with the writers to try and figure out what kind of story we want to tell, what kind of clues we want to give. And then after that point, we look at sort of what obstacles we want to put in your way, you know, uh, keypad locked doors, uh, enemies, uh, like traversal puzzles, things like that. The main challenge for creating this mission is uh, ensuring that the player has enough guidance to, to complete it without putting mission markers on everything. Like it is supposed to be about them searching, figuring clues out for themselves and, and finding the answer themselves. We want you to still feel like that detective but ensure that we're giving you enough information in the ways that we can. And we're working with a UI designer on the new mobile S, which should really help with this.
So this has been our video design brief on our investigation missions. We're really excited to bring these to you. We wanted to give you an early look to let you know what we're thinking and, and see what you're thinking about these as well. And we're really excited about it because it will allow us to inject a lot more story into the persistent universe. So with everything we do, iteration is a key part of uh, how we build things. So by the time you see this, and maybe by the time it comes out, it might have changed drastically. We don't know yet. We're still working on it and figuring out the fine details. But player experience and player agency is at the focus of what we're trying to achieve. We're really excited and hope you are too. And I'm sure we'll be talking about this again in the future.